Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at most of the different types of fixings that you get on the market. Now the idea of this video is to show you exactly what's happening with these concrete fixings inside of the hole. So if you're anything like me and you're a visual learner, what I'm going to do is show you the exact steps from drilling out the hole, to cleaning the hole out, to the fixings being inserted and how the anchors open up and grip inside the concrete so you can get a much better understanding of how these fixings work. So whether it's a wooden post or metal bracket you're attaching to your walls or your floor you'll know exactly what fixing that you need. Next you're going to want to decide on what type of drill you want to use. So on the left here I've got a combi drill and on the right an SDS drill and they take different types of drill bits. So this one is a smooth shank that goes in the combi drill and this is a slotted drive shank which goes in the SDS drill. Now tradesmen typically use this one as it's more powerful but the combi drill will get the job done for DIYs as well. There's a feature right there which shows a hammer symbol so make sure that you select it on your drill and that will give you the assist you need and it's the same for the SDS drill you've got a hammer symbol right there. And the way in which this works is, as well as rotating, it also taps on the concrete multiple times a second, and that's what gives you your assist. So let's go ahead and compare these two drills now. So you can see from the example here that the SDS drill is about 50% quicker. Another important consideration is drilling the correct size hole. So as you can see here with these examples, the hole is deeper than what the fixing is. And the way I achieve this is I just get a piece of tape and I get my fix in. I butt it up against the drill bit and then I just pop the tape a little longer on the shaft there. So when I drill into the concrete, I've got a nice gauge there and I know when to stop. In regards to the diameter of the drill bit, check the manufacturer's instructions as it will detail what size diameter you need there. Another thing I'll touch on later on in the video is if you don't clean the dust out of the hole you can end up with a situation where the actual fixing doesn't drive all the way in. This can increase the torque and snap the fixing or it can affect the load capacity of the fixing. Alright then, so let's take a closer look at these fixings one by one and see exactly how they're installed inside the hole. So the first fixing we'll be taking a look at today is called a hammer fixing and I'll start by drilling a 6mm hole. The next thing you want to do is clean the hole out. So I'm using some compressed air here, but you could use a hoover or a pump, anything like that will do. So let's say we want to attach a bracket to this concrete. Pop the bracket on top there and then get the hammer fixing and slide it into the hole. Once the fixing is in place, you then want to hammer down on the screw. So strike it a few times. And you should see at the bottom there, the anchor has flared out a little. So if you take a closer look here, you can see that the screws expanded the wall plug inside the hole and that gives you a really solid fixing. Next up we've got concrete bolts, so this requires an 8mm hole. And again guys, make sure you clean the hole out properly. This step is often missed out and it can cause you a multitude of problems. Now the drill bit wants to be the same size as the shank of the bolt and slightly narrower than the threads of the bolt which you can see there. Let's fasten this down with a 13mm socket then drive the bolt home. So because the threads are slightly wider than the hole we've drilled, as we've driven in the fixing the threads have bitten into the concrete and that will give us a really firm and secure fixing. The next fixing we're going to take a look at is called a through bolt. Again, let's say we're attaching a metal bracket to the concrete. You want to strike the bolt with a hammer all the way down to the bottom. Now let's drive the nut with the impact gun and that should flare out the fixing. And if we take a closer snapshot here, you can see that the anchor has expanded at the bottom there. And that's going to give you a nice secure fixing in the concrete. All right, next on the list is sleeve anchors. So let's push the anchor into the hole and hammer it down. Then you want to torque down the nut, which should drive the pin upwards, which will expand the anchor into the concrete and give you a secure fixing. And there's a closer shot of what that anchor will look like inside the hole. Another option you can select is called a shield anchor. 
and these typically need a larger drill bit size. Once I've drilled out the hole, I clean out the dust with compressed air and then go in with the brush. Then I insert the shield anchor and I've over driven the bolt here just to exaggerate it so you can see exactly what the anchor looks like inside a hole and how it works. And hopefully you can see most of these fixings are working in a similar way. It's just expanding inside the hole and that's what's giving you a really secure fixing. Next we have what's called a drop in anchor. So you need to drill the hole slightly deeper than the anchor. Then you need what's called a setting tool. So place that inside the anchor and then strike down with a hammer on the anchor and that should splay out the bottom of the anchor and that will give you a nice grip into the concrete. So in this example, let's say we want to attach a piece of wood to our concrete floor. The anchor now allows us to drive in a bolt and secure the piece of wood to the concrete. So next up we have chemical fixings. So this is a two part resin and it mixes both components in the nozzle and then I'm just going to insert the stud once I've put the resin in. So I have an 8mm bit of stud which requires a 10mm hole. It's the same technique for all these anchors, make sure the hole is clean. Then get your resin tube and make sure you keep squeezing the resin out until you have a nice uniform colour. Then insert your nozzle into the hole and gradually start dispensing your resin. And what's important here guys is to make sure that the hole is bigger than the stud so you can get a nice good lump of resin all the way around the stud and that will make sure you get a nice secure fix in. And here's what it looks like now the resin is set. And again in this example let's say we want to attach a wooden plate to this concrete. You just place the stud through the wooden plate then screw on your nut by hand. And then we can proceed to tighten down the nut with a 13mm spanner until the wooden plate is secure and in place. Jobs are good un. And finally another option is these chemical cartridges from Fisher. So this is another form of chemical fixing but it's just in cartridge form. So the resin capsule is 8mm so we need to drill a 10mm hole. Give the hole a quick clean. Then insert your capsule. So here is the wrong way of doing it, which is just to hammer the stud in. The components won't mix together properly. So the correct way to do it is to punch the stud through the capsule and then drill through the capsule and this will mix up all the ingredients. Once the capsule has been mixed through like a nice cocktail, leave it for five or 10 minutes and it should set up nicely. And here's what it will look like inside the hole once a resin capsule has fully set. So now that we've had a good look at how these fixings are installed, let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages to each fixing. So the main advantage to the hammer fixing and the concrete fixing for me is they're removable so you can take them out if you need to and also the cost are quite cheap. Then you have the anchors that expand out inside the concrete. These cost a little bit more money but I would say you get a more secure fix in. The disadvantage to these is once you've set them in the concrete, there's no getting them out. However, I do think they give you a more secure fix in than the first two. Then finally, we have the resin anchors. Now these tend to be the more expensive of the options. However, you do get the strongest fix in. So as you can see here, there's advantages and disadvantages to all these fix ins. My personal favorites is the concrete bowl, I quite like the sleeve anchor and also the resin injection. Let me know in the comments what your favourite fixing is. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a great day.